All right, welcome to the vault. This is a, is that a song? Still here. Oh. Uh, damn. Uh, this is another gift yes. from magnificent bastard, Michael Schneider. Michael Schneider, you magnificent bastard. This, this is it. Am I growing feeble and weak, or is this heavier than it deserves? It's heavier. To be? All of theirs like this. Yes. This is Savage and Cook. All of theirs are that weighty. That is. The bottle it, itself it is weighty. Feels like double the weight of what a bottle this size. Should That's because that there is twice as much bourbon in this bottle as there is in a normal one. It is an innovative technology, <laughs> to be sure. It's called the Time Lord technique. They compress the whiskey. <laughs> yeah. We open the cork and. The company's Tardis Co. <laughs> uh, this is Savage and Cook. They're a California brand. They source MGP, mm -hmm. and then they do things to it. This one, they have taken MGP and finished it in three different kinds of wine casks. Mm -hmm. So a uh, Cabernet. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like this. That's nice. It's matte black. It's matte black, even on the. So, I, it's matte black bottle. They didn't bother to mess with actually. Uh, there's a sticker on the bottle mm -hmm. because I have a feeling trying to print and that's expensive. Yeah, or tricky or something. Yeah. So they took an MGP, finished it in a Zinfandel barrel. Mm -hmm. Then they finished one in a cab barrel and they finished one in a Grenache barrel. Yeah. This is a blend oh. of those three finishes. 70% yeah. Zin, 20% cab, 10% Grenache. Where do you see numbers like that? Wine blends. Okay. Red wine blend. You get a red wine blend, and it'll tell yeah. you here's a percentage of red wines in this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. This is a winemaker's approach to blending finished bourbon. Okay. Which I think is just super fucking cool. I'm gonna give this a moment to open up because you're saying all of these elaborate things. I and haven't smelled the taste and there's finishes and all that stuff. Uh, do we have a water? And it's we need a also bit? 44. I haven't drank out of it. Just uh, oh, that's not true. I did drink out of that one after we watered things. Yeah. This was custom blended for Total Wine and More. They call it the 2020 blend, mm -hmm. otherwise known as the Lost Year. And it's barrel 99. Okay. The Burning Chair Barrel Select. Honestly, on the nose, this doesn't present as just a classic MGP but that I'm very familiar with. This uh, whatever finishing and proportional blending they did. Oh yeah, that's very... What is that? Peanut butter? That can't be right. Creamy peanut butter just popped into my head. There is a smell. It's like a peanut dust quality to it. Yeah, but uh, there's also a caramel. It, okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's those candies that uh, only terrible people like that have peanuts in them instead <laughs> of almonds. What? Like good chocolate is like chocolate and almonds like or chocolate good, almonds. Like a good but like a Mr. Goodyear? Nah, that's bull. Thousand grand? No, no. Peanuts and and chocolate? Is, nah, that's like that's it. out. Is it good? I like I like the peanuts and the chocolate. But that's what I'm smelling is peanut, cream and chocolate. And there's um, what is it? It's just like the, it's like a, a there's an ethanol base in here. Right. Here's a, you, you you name all of this stuff. Put my nose in here. And I'm expecting. You know, layers Fibers. and flourishes and things that are just complicated and happening on, happening on every conceivable direction. Nope. But it feels like things just kind of got crunched down into a dense, um, a dense, fairly concentrated batch of simple notes. Well, it is at 44%. On the nose. On the nose. Okay. All right. But you do get what I mean? There's not a, it just feels like it's kind of. It's concentrated and relatively yes. small and simple. It's a little bit monotone. There's no uh, stereo sound. Right. Uh, this, you know what this smells like? This smells like the kinds of whiskeys that really get crazy with some water added. But we'll, mm. get, we'll get there. Oh, same thing in the palate. A chocolate peanut cream oh. with some fruit of some sort in really, there. I get a little bit of a, a praline. Mm -hmm. You know, is that a thing outside of Texas? Yeah, yeah. The, the sugar candied... Uh, it's got usually yeah. has walnuts in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like uh, very, very sweet, very, very sugary. The praline and mm -hmm. yeah, this is very desserty. Mm -hmm. But it is relatively simple. It's very simple, but it's drinkable. It's not boring, but it's not complex either. I feel like just like with a good red wine blend that or a red wine blend that I've had that I liked. 
is a red wine blend, or the ones that I've loved anyway, seem to rub off all the uniqueness of the individuals. Mm -hmm. And they may create a really great flavor, but it's definitely a flavor. Right. As opposed to the weirdness of its individual components. That woke up the ethanol layer for me. It On the nose, it got hotter. Yeah. It kind of buried the peanut dust and praline and stuff. And Way better without water. It that just, just washed it out. It just left sugar sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. It really... Hmm. And then eventually you get to... What kind of finish is that? It's tart. Hmm. It's not dry or woody. It's tart. Hmm. It is better without water. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. So... The same thing that we were joking about with just, it's so densely packed in the bottle, it's super mm -hmm. heavy. I feel like that's the experience of the whiskey in the glass. Yeah. It's like, it, it feels like it's just densely packed and concentrated instead of flavors being in a sphere this big, it's just kind of thunk mm -hmm. right in there. And even at that relatively low proof, it's it's dense, I agree. but it's not complex. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Anyway, yeah. I need the paper. I need the paper. I Sachin Kainz, what is the alternative to floor malting? Oh, so here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of versions of it, but the ones that I've seen in industrial is these like super long containers that are just sort of malting and turning things. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's almost like a um, like a like a, a concrete mixer, like a concrete truck. It's yeah. just sort of turning and keeping it uh, separating and aerating and letting it, and then it gets transferred into a, a drying machine that does the same thing. It just rolls everything and dries it as it rolls it. And so it's all automated in machinery. Did it get turned off? Oh, the ice machine got turned off. There's no ice. There's no ice. I want to drop a little ice in there, see? Maybe it's a whiskey that's designed to be at a lower temperature. Maybe. Anyway, so that's how you commercially malt with machinery doing all the turning of everything. So these days, floor malting, very rare because it's so labor intensive. Deus Eifer. Mr. Campbell announced his retirement today. John Campbell from Lefroig announced oh, wow. he is retiring. Hmm. He's the dude. The dude. Is that why Emma just booked a plane ticket to Scotland? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fine. <laughs> I knew. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She, put the she was in here yesterday, yeah. and I forgot to look. Yeah, it's a lot of the fruit. But in his honor, yeah, we filled up. Let's do a triple wood. Okay. <laughs> Just because I got to hang out with John Campbell. You know, Emma doesn't get credit for that. We did that in honor. In honor of Campbell. Of John Campbell and yes. his retirement from Lafroy. And thank you, Matthew Pilgrim, for the sample of Lafroy that we're trying. Oh, yeah. That's triple cask right there. That's, that's a pepper steak, man. A heavily black peppered steak. With a savory sauce, but not that's not swimming in sauce, mm -hmm. just like drizzled across the top. Yeah, like see, almost a balsamic. You got a little, a little too heavy handed with the salt mm. on that black peppery steak. There's some saltiness all over the steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's delicious. Mm. I forgot ah! how I forgot how good that specific bottling is. Yeah, it's uh Wow. It's pretty good. Just let it happen. I give this 13. No, you're out dividing of stealing and drinking. walruses. <laughs> if you fight me, fight for friends. Steal, make you steal, you let me start. And if you drink. May you drink with us. Can we get dad jokes back? The, that's preferable to whatever this works. Now you see my master plan. <laughs> <laughs>